Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for today's video. It's 11 a.m., I'm grabbing a coffee right now and then I'm off to therapy. And um, before therapy, I figured we would talk because I have a little bit of a drive ahead of me, so why not? Okay, so if you're new, my name's Ashley. I make videos on spirituality, mindfulness, blah, 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 all that stuff, okay? I'm just trying to get into the video. Okay, so today we're talking spirit guides and psychics. I wanted to talk about how I've gotten in touch with my spirit guides, and I wanted to talk about psychic readings and my experience having, I would say, the most uh, accurate reading that I've ever had which is very interesting because I've had a lot of readings. I've done online, I've done over the phone, I've done in person, I've done so many. And um, this was by far the most mind-blowing one. It was so cool. It was so cool. I told all my friends about it and all my friends were like, can I have your number? And one of my friends actually just got a reading with her. But anyways, okay, let me get into the video. All right. So we're talking psychics and spirit guides. So first off, I want to talk about Kellyanna Psychic because she's sponsoring this video, shout out to her. She is the psychic that gave me the reading that really fucking resonated with me. It was crazy, guys. Before I even like go into the promotion of um, what she does, which I will get into, and please, please stick around for that. I just wanna tell you about how the reading made me feel. Um, she told me so many things about myself, about my life, about my future, down to the zodiac sign of my soulmate, um, what he does, kind of what he looks like, um, really specific please move forward to the next order point. don't tell me what to do please move forward to the next <laughs> hi can i have a medium double double and a uh, blueberry muffin that's it yeah so she told me specifics on my life that um I was just like, how do you know this? So what she told me is that, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong, if I'm remembering it wrong, but what I recall her saying is that my spirit guides show up to her and it doesn't make a difference if we're in person or over the phone because they're there with her pretty much relaying her the messages that they have for me and she is um, giving those messages back to me. So while we were talking, it was so cool because she'd be like listening to them speak. I could hear that she was like physically hearing like voices or something and she was literally like repeating what they were saying and i remember at one point she was like oh sorry they're talking at the same time and i was like oh my god that's so cool <laughs> that's so cool it was so interesting like bro she was telling me about my soulmate about my career about when things are going to pick up for me about my future about where i'm going to invest in real estate like so much specific stuff and she said it with such confidence that like i do not think you know like somebody would make all that up hi good morning uh, yes debit please thank you Thanks. Yeah, she was saying it with such um, confidence that I just feel like, I don't know, like when I do readings, I always have like a little bit of like, I'm a little bit skeptical. Nope, I did not feel a drop of that with her. I'm telling you guys, she's the real fucking deal. She's, <laughs> she's the real deal. Like, bro, I don't even, I don't even know how to explain what I heard. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. Sorry, 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 sorry. So yeah, like the reading was so crazy. Already things that she said have started to um, come to reality, which is so weird down to the month, she said. I'm just like still like, damn, how does she do that? That's some talent right there. She is gifted. It gave me a lot of reassurance in what I'm doing. So if you're someone that's interested in like getting some reassurance on your path or you wanna know when am I gonna meet the love of my life, you know, like book a reading with her. Book a reading with her because I'm telling you, like, Oh my god, it was good, it was good. <laughs> okay, so, moving on. Um, if you are interested in Kaliana Psychic's uh, work, she actually has a few different things available to you guys. So, that includes something called the Soulmate Course, which is a course that helps you call in your soulmate, which is amazing. She has so many different types of courses on her website. She has tarot stuff. She is very, very gifted. She has a Facebook page, she has a website, and so much more. And I'm just gonna show you guys a little glimpse of her site. So over here is her YouTube page, and if you want to know more about her soulmate course, which helps you call in your soulmate, then definitely check out the video that you see on the screen here. In the description, you'll see the link, and this is the number one soulmate course, which helps you remove any blockages, anything really in the way of meeting your soulmate. So if you are curious, then you can just read the screen right here. It kind of outlines what exactly you can expect in the course. So if you want to check her out, she also has a Facebook page, which is shown right here. The main message that she really wants me to give to you guys is to remind you all of how powerful you really are and the divine connection that you have to your soulmates and your guardians. So if that's something that you want to strengthen, then definitely check her out.
Okay, so now that you know about Kellyanna, let's get into the spirit guides talk. Because as I said, my spirit guides showed up to her to relay the messages back to me. And um, she pretty much just told me what they had for me. And I feel like I'm very close to my spirit guides. I feel very connected to them. I would say that the way that I got in touch and my journey began... Ooh, let me think for a moment. Oh, I remember. Okay, my journey with my spirit guides, I mean, technically, it began the day I was born, you know? Before I was born. They've been with me through lifetimes. But um, I became aware of uh, the power that they had in my life and how easy it is to get in tune with them. It all started with my crystal. I think it was blue calcite or celestite, some, some blue, okay? And... Um, some weird stuff was happening in my life at the time. I was trying to get more in tune with my spirituality. I was seeing lots of angel numbers. Things were just kind of getting really intense for me because I had just gone through the most um, intense breakup I've had. And I felt like I needed guidance. And I started getting really, really spiritual. That's what truly began my spiritual journey. Like my, my journey began through heartbreak, if I'm being honest. Um, with my spirit guides, I felt this weird connection to like archangels spirit guides ancestors which i kind of consider like one in the same i feel like they're all our spirit guides um but someone somebody can correct me if i'm wrong on that but that's how i feel and um i had this weird moment where i kept seeing all these synchronicities you know i asked for a sign and um suddenly i saw like a reflection off of a crystal in my eye it was catching my eye i looked up the crystal turns out it was one that connects you with your spirit guides and your angels and then uh the crystal broke and it was like a really weird moment. Watch the video. It's really interesting, if I'm being honest. Um, so that's where it began. And then I went a lot deeper into that. So I started looking up how to connect with my spirit guides on YouTube. Um, I started doing meditations, online guided meditations. I'd look up like Archangel Raphael meditations, call in spirit guides meditation. Like I would look up different things and just listen to the audio and meditate on that and imagine them with me and I started noticing my life started to change. Then I started talking to them. My friend Raven, Raven Rose Tarot, she just told me like, you know, maybe say the Archangel's name three times and call them in or ask for them, you know, to help you. Like you gotta ask for them to help. Um, so I started asking for help through like prayer. So if you don't believe in God, you don't have to pray to God. You can pray to your ancestors. You can pray to your spirit guides, your archangels, you know. I believe in God personally and I'm spiritual. Um, so I usually consider my prayer and my meditation the same. So I started like asking my spirit guides for help. I would be like, spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, if you're here with me, I need your guidance. I need your help. Show me a sign. They'd show me a sign, you know, I'd see 11-11 a second later, like weird things would happen. I would literally ask for a sign, then my phone would buzz and it'd be like 11-11 or like 444, you know, it was weird. Um, so yeah, that strengthened my belief. So then I started just like asking them more questions and asking for help, like, hey man, don't know if I can pay my rent this month. And then the next day there'd be like a deposit of $2,000 in my account like, that came from the government out of nowhere, you know, like weird things like that were helping. And it was crazy. Like I kept asking for guidance and they were like, ask and you shall receive. So then I got a little more comfy. I started like uh, getting into tarot and that really connected me with my spirit guides. I felt like they were like, I don't know. I felt like I got a sense of uh, like personality from them. Like I'd ask a question and they'd give me a card and then I'd ask a question again because I didn't like the answer and they'd give me the same card. And I'd ask it again to give me the same card. You know what I mean? And I'd be like, damn, okay. Like, I fucking get it. I get it. And then I started, like, joking around, you know? And, like, it's just funny. Because, like, I really feel like my spirit guides are, like, my friends. I've never physically heard their voices, okay? So, if that's what you're expecting, that is a thing. I'm assuming that's how Kellyanna does her readings. I don't know. Um, but that is a thing. I personally have never heard them. I've heard messages in my mind that just come to me in my own voice and I don't know where they come from and I just know it's my spirit guide. So for example, like a lot of my videos, um, I'll be driving, I'll be on the subway, I'll be doing something, right? Suddenly I'll get like a specific message in my head and I'll write it down on my phone in my notes app or I'll text it to myself and then I'll make a video on it later and it turns out to be like one of my best videos. It's so weird, like I literally just get these messages or when I'm meditating, I'll just like hear it in my head, like my own voice, like 
blah, 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 blah. You should blah, 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 blah. And I'll be like, okay. And I just know it's it's my guides. Um, but yeah, like I, I started to get messages through tarot that were really accurate and that strengthened my belief even more. And it made me feel closer to my spirit guides. And that was so cool because like, I don't think you guys realize, like they're here to help you. Like they really are. Just ask just ask I swear to you my life started to change when I started to like ask my spirit guides for help for dumb things you know what's funny ask my roommate Brenda every time we do rock paper scissors on who's gonna drive because we, we do this thing we go for errands or bubble tea we go downtown you know we're like oh who's gonna drive we do rock paper scissors so every single time I go spirit guides you know what to do you know and I'm like help me make sure I win this round and I always say spirit guides and Brenda just looks at me like okay and I think she thought it was just like fucking around at first you know and I'll do like, okay guys, you got my back? Okay, okay, make sure I win. And I'll do it and I win rock, paper, scissors 95% of the time. Like I win all the time. And Brenda tried it one time and she won. <laughs> so it was funny. Um, you can ask them for help with dumb things, with big things, with anything. Like I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, if you're not using your spirit guides to your advantage, it, it's a waste it's a waste because they're here to be with you and to help you and to guide you you know so I think that's what I really got from my psychic reading is that like they're actually with me you know because I remember before I did the reading I was so burnt out creatively after my breakup in April I was pushing out content like three times a week and then I just burnt out and I couldn't make anything I was just off like I wasn't even sad I was just off like I, I was not feeling creative everything I made I hated I never felt like doing my makeup to film I was just in a rut and I was trying to rest but I was forcing myself to wake up every day and try and record and hate it and then I would end up working the whole day and scrapping it all and I wasted all my time and I'm like damn I could just be relaxing but I refused to do that eventually I did the reading and she was saying I asked her like what do my spirit guides have for me like what's a main message that I need to take from this reading and she's just, just like your spirit guides are saying you need rest you need rest things will pick up in September you'll feel more inspired in September you need to rest in fact she was so understanding she wasn't even rushing me on the video because we did this reading months ago in like July or like oh my god a long time ago she's like um, don't even worry like you can make the video in September um, you need rest and I was like wow like it was just such a beautiful thing to say because like most brands I work with are just so demanding you know um, and she was so patient, you know, and she she was just amazing. Like, she was amazing. And um, I really have respect for her work and even for the fact that she's been so patient with me on this content creation, which, by the way, girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> it took forever. But I did take the rest. And once I came back in September, as she advised me to do so, or as my spirit guides advised me to do so, um, my channel was growing like crazy. Bro! I, my, my channel literally grew from like six grew from six thousand to eleven thousand in a matter of like a month and a bit and I was just like what I haven't even posted in the time that I was resting guys my channel grew the fastest that it ever has isn't that crazy when I was resting it was growing and I was like I'm at 10k I haven't posted in, in two months it was so crazy and now my channel's picking up just as she said it would which is so cool I'm way more inspired I feel so much better about my content like it's just crazy so yeah like your spirit guides are here for you guys they're here for you so again I, I highly suggest um, just calling out their names look up some archangels see who resonates with you call out their names a few times you know I suggest just talking to them and being like hey spirit guides like show me that you're here you know or um, can you help me with this and, and they're here for you they're here to help you I promise you you just have to let them you know you have to be open and maybe they won't show you a sign the second you ask for it maybe it'll take a day or two to see some signs but just be aware of the signs you know so something that she told me is that if you see like a lot of specks of like light reflections hitting your eye out of nowhere like flares um, that that is them uh, angel numbers of course synchronicities in your life that like kind of don't make sense like to me I don't believe there are coincidences so if you feel like there's a lot of coincidences happening it's probably your spirit guides working with you in your life um, yeah I think right now the energy is really high there's a retrograde going on you know um, I think that shit could go wrong and why don't you ask your spirit guides to protect you during this time you know so sit down meditate put some incense on have a little tea a little cuppa and just sit down 
<laughs> the British accent has to stop one day. It has to stop, but it probably won't. Um, sit down and just talk to your guides. Talk to your guides and they're gonna be there for you. And then like, just start to joke around with them. Like, that's what I do. I'll be like, guys, I'm sorry I didn't listen last time, but like, please, I swear I'm gonna do it. You know, like start talking to them like you're, they're your friends, you know, they're part of you. Oh shit, this lane ends. I did not realize the lane ended. Bro, what do you want me to do? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I honestly think that I think it's really important to get in touch with your guides. And once again, guys, like I know I've been gassing her up this whole time, but Kellyanna's the real deal, my friends. Kellyanna's the real deal. I hope I'm saying her name right. I hope I am. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, check her out. Check her out. And if you do, Please let me know how your experience was because I'm so curious. Like when my friend went to her, I was like, ooh, give me the tea, girl. I love to hear how other people's readings go because it it's just cool, you know? So um, where am I going? Bayview and Floor. Yeah. But I'm gonna do a life update video after this. So if you guys uh, see me in this outfit again, I'm literally gonna stop record and record another video because why not? I still have 17 minutes ahead of me, may as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you get in touch with your guides, let a girl know if you need advice on it. Feel free to reach out to me. Or um, I know Kellyanna has a Facebook group. You could check her out as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye, homies. I like homies. I like homies and besties and friends. Whatever I'm feeling for the day, I think. They all mean the same thing. Okay, bye. <laughs>